Hello everybody, my name is Nicola and welcome back to my channel. This is The Frugal Cottage where we talk all things we need to help you on your financial journey. Today's video is a walkthrough of the free trade app, just so you can see exactly how it works and if you want to start to get invested in, hopefully this gives you some idea of what to do. So, I talk about investing a lot on here on The Frugal Cottage, it's part of our financial independence plan. But I've had quite a few messages about how to get started and how to use the apps that are available for beginners. So this is what this video is all about. As always, don't forget to like and subscribe and let's get started. So the free trade app is one of two apps that I talk about on here. So I do my free trade portfolio updates. For me, the app is just a bit of an experimental portfolio. I put in £10 a week in and that is it. If you are starting small, then it's a great app to begin with to kind of find your feet around investing and just see how it works. So let's get started. Okay, so you can see here I've got my um, app open and that's what you see first. So when you first open the app, all you see is your portfolio page. Now mine, as you can see, is kind of going up nicely. If you start with £10 a week, that is absolutely fine. Yours will still go in an upward trend in theory anyway. Mine just looks like that. So you can see it shows you what you've got in your portfolio, what it's been building in terms of different like days. I and mean, you can see that I put in £10 today because it's Friday, that's why there's a big jump there. And it also shows you what it's up by since you started investing, which can be helpful over the longer term. And also you can see that at the top it says free shares. So when you sign up for free trade, you can refer friends and family and you get a free share if someone clicks on your link or you refer them and they also sign up. If you haven't got a free trade, I've got a referral link down below that you can use that will get us both a free share worth up to £200. So if you haven't got a free trade account and you want to start, don't forget to use that and then you get a free share to start you off. But that's the first thing there and if I scroll down, the next thing you can see there is your investments, so what you've invested in, and obviously depending on how many things you invest in, that's how long that list is, but you sometimes have to click see more to see all of that. The next thing along, so insights just shows you, so your portfolio performance from the, so for mine says from the 18th of January, it's gone up 17%, which is fine. Discover is probably the most important tab on here. So Discover is where you can search for different things to invest in. Now, the only thing that I would say about this app is actually when you search for things, the information it gives you is maybe not as detailed as in other places. So for example, when I'm doing my investments, I research using the Hargreaves Lansdowne website because it's much more in detail. It's much more... Um, kind of research friendly if you like but this discover tab in free trade is what is that means so you can see there so it shows you if you've recently viewed anything so i've recently viewed tesla and the global corporation bond and different things you can see there if i scroll along it also has newly added so these are things that they've added to their platform so things that you can invest in and some of those are things you've heard of so look there's dot martins for example um, and then other things like that. Then you've got like the popular ETFs, ETFs are a fund, so it has lots of different things in there as opposed to a single company. If you don't know the difference between a stock and a fund, I've got a video that explains all about that. I'll leave that down below if you want to check that out after this one. That will explain all about the kind of the fundamentals of investing and I'll leave it below. Um, and then so they show you the popular ones they've got there. You can then choose by different sectors. So Think of like it as like, you know, in like books, you'd have genres of books. This is the same, but within the investment. So you've got finance, you've got tech, you've got health, industrials, energy, consumer goods, property, mining, professional services, food and drink. There's so many that you can kind of look at. And if you click on some of these, some of these will have really big companies that you've heard of before. It then has popular stocks so things that people are investing in at the moment. Uh, and again, so you, you've probably heard of some of these but they, and that changes regularly. It then has a section for green energy, because that's popular at the moment. Then for cannabis companies, which again are growing as a kind of a, um, an offshoot of the pharmaceuticals side of things, and so on. So um, oh, look, tech titans are all the, like the big um, technology companies that you probably will have heard of most of those. So the Discover one is 
is the way you find what to invest in. So if I put, for example, let's put Apple in there because you've all heard of Apple and filming this bit on an iPhone. Um, so if you click on that, so what it shows you once you've found somewhere is it tells you, so the price per share in Apple at the time of recording is £129.71. This isn't a recommendation to buy this, this is just showing you an example. So for one share you would need to invest that much and it also shows you how much or how kind of how up and down it's gone over the past so there's one day seven days of the past week one month and then one year and then the maximum since it was started so there look since february 2016. so you can see what they're over so one day so daily kind of things don't really matter too much you're looking at kind of one year if not maximum for these kind of things to look at in terms of are they going is the growth good? Is in is the price going up? That's all that means. It then gives you the option to buy or sell, and then because I have a share or or not not a whole one, but because I've invested in Apple, it then tells me what my investment is. But it also, if you scroll down, it kind of tells you the stats. So it, it does pay a dividend yield. So dividend yield is like think about it as kind of interest on your investment. So it's it's profits when the company pay back, and also it tells you what the company is. I mean, we all know what Apple is. And then there are costs and charges, apart from when you're in free trade, it doesn't cost you anything because it's a, it doesn't cost you to do that. And that's the basics and what that shows you there. So that should show you, and then you can obviously do that for other things as well. So there's so many different things to invest in. There are so many options. And then, so the next tab along is activity. And this, basically, this is what shows you what's happening in your own account. So you can see there that I've topped up £10 today. Um, I got a free shares because someone used my referral link the other day. I bought Tesla last week. And so on. You can kind of see how that ends up. And then I'm not going to click on account because it shows my name, I think, and my email. But account just tells you your personal details. So that is the free trade app and it, honestly it's one of the it's one of the easiest things to find your way around in terms of um, an investment app. It's very straightforward. Also, it's really kind of user friendly and you can like I said I invest £10 a week into this and that as you can see from my portfolio over time really does add up and I'll leave a link below to my latest free trade portfolio update because I talk about it all in more detail. But that is how you use the app and like I said if you haven't got one already and you want a free share from this then I'll leave them below if you want to use that. I also get one so thank you if you use that. But if you're thinking about investing then absolutely have a go at that because you aren't or you don't have to put in a lot of money to kind of see how things work. And also when you open that there are options for different accounts. It will probably open a general investment account for you when you click on that. That just means that you, you, you can buy and sell shares and funds. But there are, it's a good starting point if you're a bit anxious about starting investment, like investing, but you know you should do, or you just want to have a bit of a play around with things before kind of committing to anything bigger. That's how I feel about this. So I said at the start, this is my experimental portfolio. It's something that I am putting a bit aside every week for kind of the next however many years and just see how that goes and see how that grows in terms of building that wealth over the long term from what feels like seemingly quite a small amount. So I hope that helps in terms of walking through the app. In terms of how to find what to invest in, you just have to do your research. What I suggest is look at companies that you know or have heard of already and start from there. There's lots of information on the internet, so like I share what I have in my portfolio, there's different YouTubers who share theirs. There's lots of blogs that talk about investing and where to go, there's books. I'll leave a link below to a couple of investing books that I have personally read that I think are really good as a starting point to learn more about it. Um, and yeah, that's it for the free trade app walkthrough for beginners. I do hope that's been useful and if you've got any questions, don't forget, leave them below and I will try and answer them as best as I can or point you in the direction of something that tells you the answer to your question. As always, thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you again very soon.